Hello, in this video we'll be focusing on the filter transformation as found in the transformation section of the toolbox. The filter transformation is a record set transformation that does exactly what it does. It filters a, uh, a data set into a subset of records based on a certain condition. So for example, uh, my query source here returns a bunch of employee data and my filter transformation uh, filters that down to a smaller uh, data set based on, in this case, whether or not the first name begins with an M. To, to use the filter, uh, simply go to the, the toolbox and drag and drop onto the diagram. Here this gives me a filter action box with no layout. Now I can uh, edit the layout manually as with most uh, actions uh, on the uh, diagram uh, by clicking, right clicking and selecting properties or I can build the layout directly from the diagram by mapping and that's what I'll do in this case. I'm going to auto map by dragging the bold node on the bolded node and this will give me the layout. Many times your layout in a filter is a, a copy of a previous or a subsequent transformation. So in this example I have a customer Excel sheet and if I preview the data you can see I got a bunch of data and all as well as a bunch of uh, basically test data that was used as part of a quality control process. So I would like to process this data set but get rid of these test records that have no bearing in my actual process. So to do that I'm going to configure the properties of this uh, filter transformation, the first screen being the layout again. I can edit this but I'll leave it as is. Uh, the next screen being the expression builder. You'll, uh, this should look familiar if you're using any kind of expression in Centerprise. Uh, but in this case, uh, it must evaluate to a true-false uh, expression. So here, this is an otherwise valid expression, but it's giving me the uh, rule must evaluate to system boolean. So basically, anything that evaluates to true will pass the filter, uh, and it will move on through the data flow. Anything that does not evaluate to true will be discarded. So in this case, I'm going to take uh, an expression. So I'm going to say if, if, if any of the company name contains uh, the name Astera, I want to discard it. So I'm going to say company name. So contains Astera is yes, and then just evaluate this to false. So what I'm saying here is anytime the company name contains Astera, uh, or does not contain Astera, I should say, by this neg negation here, uh, it's going to go ahead and pass the filter. So I'm going to compile, successful, click OK. And now if I preview the data, you can see that I've gotten rid of all of the records that contain Astera software. So at this point, I can go ahead and start mapping from my filter transformation as, as any other transformation and use it uh, basically as a record set transformation in my data flow. Uh, one thing to note is that the filter transformation only filters records in memory. So for example, this, in this case my SQL query source, if I open this up and see my query, you can see here I'm selecting everything from the employee table. Uh, that still remains true even though I'm using the filter. So this will return the entire employees table and it won't filter anything out until it gets to Centerprise itself and this will happen uh, in memory basically so so that so if you have a large data set uh, a lot of times it's it's beneficial to do the filtering at the source uh, rather than in Centerprise so just keep that in mind when you're using the filter uh, and that concludes the uh, filter transformation thank you very much